Welcome to a tutorial video on Twine 2.3. In this video, I'm going to talk about the JavaScript modifier within Chatbook. Chatbook is a one, of, one of a number of different built-in story formats in Twine 2. You can change story formats by coming to the passages view of any story, coming down to the story menu, change story format, and then selecting the story format to change to. In this case, I'm using Chatbook chat book, which as of this recording is a version 1.0.0. The JavaScript modifier within Chatbook is one of a different number of different modifiers. These are things which define some type of section which they modify, hence the name, and we write the modifier by defining what we want to do. The JavaScript modifier is spelled exactly as I have it written as a name and as we will see here, right here, uppercase J, uppercase S, JavaScript. Like any other modifier, is defined initially with open and closing square brackets. Then for the ending of whatever it's going to modify, the word continued, also in open and closing square brackets, or C-O-N-T as an abbreviated form of that. Everything between those will be what the modifier modifies. In this case, with the JavaScript modifier, it allows us to use JavaScript within a passage, which means I can do things like I have right here. I can define a variable, give it a value, and then use within Chatbook a very special global function, write. The function write, as its name implies, writes something. It will write in the exact position in which it is found within the passage within a JavaScript modifier area, which is to say, if we give it something to write, some string value or a value that could become a string, it will write it at that exact point, when read, when the passage is first run. So we see here, if we come down to test, we see 9, which is true. It was the value of the variable example, which was defined within the JavaScript modifier section. Notice it does not show up over here in variables because it is not a chatbook variable, it is a JavaScript variable. Variables defined within one passage using the JavaScript modifier will not be accessible within another passage. These are all separate scopes within JavaScript. The variables defined within one JavaScript modifier within one passage will not be available in another passage. There is another way to do that, which is, will be discussed in another video. But using the JavaScript modifier, JavaScript code can be put into a passage. Like any other modifier, it opens with open and closing square brackets around what the modifier is, then what it modifies, and then is closed using C-O-N-T as the abbreviated form or the word continued, also in opening and closing square brackets. Within those, the special global function chatbook introduces called write can be used to write something to the passage when it occurs, in the order in which it occurs, within the JavaScript modifier within a passage. So we can write to the passage using the write function, and anything that is a string or could become a string can be written using that function. And again, JavaScript code can be introduced using the JavaScript modifier, and it works like any other modifier within Chatbook. Thanks for watching.